Let's talk about one of my favorite prospects as we head into the 2022 NFL Draft. Alec Pierce grew up in Glen Ellen, Illinois, and attended Glen Bard West High School. He was an all-around athlete lettering in four sports, football, volleyball, basketball, and track. He was rated a three-star recruit for football and elected to play his college ball at the University of Cincinnati, although he had offers from 16 other schools. During his freshman year, he was a true freshman but played mostly on special teams. He actually practiced at linebacker ahead of the team's appearance in the military bowl but ultimately didn't play at that position at all. And as a sophomore, he caught 37 passes for 652 yards and two touchdowns. Something to also be noted is that he did play special teams throughout his entire college career. He was tremendous for the team as a gunner. Due to injury, his numbers dropped during his junior year, and he only caught 17 passes for 315 yards and three touchdowns. However, as a senior, Alec Pierce really caught the eyes of scouts across the nation after he caught 52 passes for 884 yards and eight touchdowns. He was named second team All-American Athletic Conference. He received an invite to the NFL Combine and really impressed showing his true athleticism. He came in at 6'3 and 1'8", 211 pounds with a 33 inch arm length, nine inch hand span. He ran a 4'4", 40 yard dash, jumped 40 and a half inches for his vertical jump and had a 10 foot nine broad jump. He also had a 4'2", 20 yard short shuttle and had a 7'1", three, three cone drill. Some strengths about Alec Pierce and what I love about him are that he's a tough, gritty kid and not afraid to go across the middle if he needs to. He's got a large catch radius, which can come in handy, especially within the red zone. He has track speed that can create late separation where he can break one and go the distance. He's also got some of the strongest hands in the class, displaying this on several occasions throughout his college career. Some of the weaknesses noted are that he's mainly just an outside receiver with some route limitations due to his lack of quickness and release at the line. He hasn't really shown an elite ability to also get off of press coverage, although his size is typically favorable. Lastly, he didn't have a ton of yak in college, so that does concern some scouts. Overall, I think his stock went way up right after the NFL Combine, and he was able to showcase his athleticism from a number standpoint. But then he also showed that he's a legitimate NFL prospect. My overall ceiling and hope for this guy is that he's going to be Jordy Nelson 2.0. Both are almost the exact same size, both track stars, both athletic outside receivers that are day two picks. I look to see Alec go somewhere in the late second or early third round, but I think he'll be a steal for any team lucky enough to get him. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and drop a nickel on that subscribe button to see more of these types of videos in the future.